gentlemen, welcome to the Jobber Break Room, and welcome to my review of NXT Gold Rush Night 2. So, this is the second night. We obviously did Night 1 last week with Cora winning over Dana Brooke, because of course she did. She wouldn't have lost. This, this night was more mostly focused on title matches compared to last week. Um, let's, I've got some announcements at the end of the video, but let's just go ahead and jump in. Timer, as you know, somewhere over there. It's mostly this corner, it appears. But this NXT Gold Rush Night 2 opened with the NXT Women's Championship, Tiffany Stratton and Fia Hale. Now, this match was great. I, I really loved the chemistry that these two had together. Tiffany working over certain parts, Fia Hale trying to get Tiffany to tap out. And believe it or not, Tiffany did tap out. She tapped out to Fia Hale, but the referee was distracted. And because of this, there was no there was no scene of the tap out, so Tiffany was able to win and retain her champion, her Tiffy title. It's so stupid. I, I hate saying it, but it's so stupid. Um, and then Drew Gulak and Charlie Dempsey, who were at ringside, attacked Duke Hudson, and this led to the return of Andre Chase. Who hasn't been seen, I think, since Vengeance Day when he took on Braun Breaker. I think, I think that was the last time he was seen. I'm not 100% sure. Do not quote me on that. Then we got the NXT Tag Team title match. Which was Gallus defending against the two that won last week. However, weirdly, Angel Garza and Humberto were up on a little platform watching from a distance and this actually added a little bit of interest to the match itself not only that the match itself was fantastic however Channing Stax got involved trying to cost Gallus the titles but ended up costing these other two men the match and then afterwards we got confirmation that it was Stax who outed Tony D'Angelo and put him in jail there's a plot twist I wasn't expecting. Genuinely was not expecting that that little plot twist with Channing Stacks. I thought he was loyal. Turns out he was not loyal. <laughs> then we had the Heritage Cup. The Heritage Cup was on the line. Uh, Dragon Lee taking on Nathan Fraser. I don't know what the fuck Reggie and Axiom were doing. They, they came out at one point and I don't know what they were doing. But my lord, did Axiom, oh not Axiom, fuck Axiom. <laughs> did Dragon Lee and Nathan Fraser deliver? The, the, the thing with the Heritage Cup, I still don't understand it. Uh, I'm still somewhat learning the Heritage Cup. Um, but it is... Beautiful, the two out of three falls stipulation to every match. I I absolutely love it. It was great. And yeah, Nathan Fraser successfully retained the Heritage Cup and Dragon Lee presented it to him. It was it was a real touching moment. I, I like that. The chemistry between them. I hope they run it back again, but we'll have to wait and see. Then we got Kiana James. Versus Gigi Dolan. There wasn't... I didn't expect much with this match. It was, I think, kind of just a throwaway match between these two. And Gigi Dolan did get the win. But then Kiana James attacked her from behind. And randomly poured paint over her. What What the fuck? Was, what, what was the point of this? Why, why did you pour paint over her? I did not understand any of that. I, I didn't get it. And then we got to the main event. Baron Corbin versus 
Carmelo Hayes. Now the advantage here, Baron Corbin brought back his lone wolf persona. And I love that, that this is the version of Baron Corbin that we need. Not happy Corbin, not sad Corbin. This is NXT Baron Corbin. And I hope he sticks to this if he does go to, back to the main roster. Or he sticks around in NXT for a while. I don't care. Just keep this version of Baron Corbin. The match itself. Corbin wrestling. He did have his shirt on at some point. But then at some point the shirt came off. And I, I just don't like Baron Corbin wrestling with no shirt. It's, it's just weird. And... We did get, you know, Carmelo retaining. As much as I would have loved Corbin winning, it had to be Carmelo Hayes. And that, that makes you wonder, who's next for Carmelo Hayes? Well, the next pay-per-view is the Great American Bash, so we have to wait until then. Now, there was a couple of backstage segments. Rhea Ripley confronted uh, Carmelo after he showed up on Raw. And how he intervened, or he intervened last week with Finn Balor attacking Seth Rollins. And she was like, oh, you mess with Judgment Day. You know, you get all of us. Um, whatever little backstage segment happened. Um, Noam Dar's group. The something four. The, the Fabulous Four. I can't remember their name. They had like shirts made. And they said they want to go after the NXT women's tag team titles. Who's going to tell them that those don't exist anymore? Shrek and Donkey have ruined them now. Don't get me started on that. Uh, what other little backstage segment did we have? Rhea Ripley uh, did have another altercation backstage with JC Jane. Who had an altercation with fucking Laura Val, whatever her name is, bitch. Uh, Dana Brooke had a backstage segment with someone who was asking her for advice. You're asking the wrong person. Trust me, you're asking the wrong person. And there was another backstage segment. Who was it with? Can't remember. There was another backstage segment, but uh, it's gone from my memory. Stop the timer, please. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for NXT Gold Rush Night 2. This was the second time they did this. And as I say, that's us until NXT Great American Bash on July 30th, I think. It's either 29th or the 30th. It's one of the two. Now, on this channel, my video on Monday was supposed to be the Little Mermaid podcast. Well, that's not happening because Money in the Bank is tomorrow. So my review for Money in the Bank will be up on Monday. I could push it to Friday if I wanted to. And I could. I don't know yet. But I'll keep you posted on that uh, because tonight I'm going to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. That's tonight. And then tomorrow, gaming video on Saturday. And then unboxing video on Sunday. And then, yeah, Monday... Monday will either be my Money in the Bank video or my podcast. It can be either one. I don't know yet, but you'll have to wait and see. This was NXT Gold Rush Night 2. Personally, for the obvious reasons, I prefer Night 1. Just, just, no, no reason in particular. No, no reason. Shut up. And yes, I know I should be in Newcastle right now. Maybe I am, huh? Maybe I am in Newcastle. Hmm? You don't know that. You don't know that. I could be in Newcastle. I could be. I could be. I very well could be. You don't know that. You don't know where I am right now. I could be anywhere. I know I said I was going to the cinema, but could have done that a couple of days ago, you know? Indiana Jones came out on Wednesday. 
I, I could have went to see it on Wednesday and then, oh, video on Friday. You never know these things. Don't assume, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Don't assume that you think you know things. Because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. And I don't want to be looked like an ass, okay? We're obviously not going live for Money in the Bank. That's, that's, I mean, we could. We could, you know, if I'm, if I'm over with Mr. Creepy Boss, you know, we could, we could go live. It's possible. You don't know when this video goes out. You have no idea. You have no idea, Mr. Brainy Box. You don't know. You don't know where I am right now. Huh? You don't know.